Don't make fun of this shirt, right? It's a Care Bear shirt, but I did actually uh, save a man's life. I was in Cape Canaveral and I went to a cafe with my daughter and uh, some guy was, I sat down in the restaurant. 30 seconds later, the waitress came out. He's choking, he's choking, he's not breathing. I go run the room and there's a guy like this. Uh, uh, and there's one woman just patting his back, but she wasn't even really trying. She was just patting. Well, I grabbed the guy, he's about 250 pounds, gave him four Heimlichs, coughed it out. Everyone's thanking me, whatever. This son of a bitch never said thank you. He didn't even say thank you. He said, bro, put me down. I literally just saved his fucking life. He said, bro, put me down. It is what it is. The chef thanked me, though. He's like, oh, I would have got fired if somebody choked on my food. So. But, it is, but it is what it is. You know? Anybody miss the 80s? I really miss the fucking 80s, right? Yeah, God damn. Yeah. In the 80s, apps was chicken fingers. You know what I'm saying? You know? Mozzarella sticks, now apps. Instagram was a guy that could have got you cocaine in 30 minutes. No, no. Fucking Facebook was Tony, how much you owed in his ledger. The Giants lost. You owed five grand, right? Fucking TikTok was how much time you had to get him the money because you owed him five grand because the Giants fucking lost, right? And Snapchat is when he sent me to break your fucking legs because you owe him five grand. I don't know, whatever, I'm trying here. What a tough crowd. It's like six people left. This is what it is. I think I did more people like last week. But I wouldn't give a fuck, right? Anybody ever go in the service? No? Anyone go anything crazy like that? No? No? Well, when I was younger, I'm 40 years old. Uh, when I was 18, I went in the Marine. And in Iraq, uh, when I was 22 years old. And uh, I had a 30 minute seizure, which was great, you know, for 30 minutes, right? And uh, I got medevaced out of there. And then I woke up with the Air Force, which dying in the Marines and waking up with the Air Force is like literally like winning the lot. Like, the, the girls had pink nail polish and they smelled fresh. And I'm not, they just, yeah, it was nice. But anyways, uh, long story short, they flew me to fucking Germany. And I get to Germany. And uh, the next day, my master sergeant from Iraq called me to see how I was doing. And they said, oh, you have a call in the bed, whatever, all fucked up, you had a head injury. And they gave me the phone. Oh, master sergeant, first, if you want to know how hardcore the Marines is, all he said was, where the fuck is your rifle? <laughs> Bro, I left there intubated fucking cat with a catheter in my dick. I literally left Iraq with silky underwear on. That's it. That's all. I didn't have a wallet. Nothing. And uh, apparently somebody stole my rifle when I was having a seizure. And uh, that's probably on eBay somewhere. But, it's what it is. but uh, yeah, so I didn't get in trouble but because I left there unconscious. That's the one time you get a pass, losing a rifle. But uh, a year later, no joke, I'm in Long Island. Now I'm a civilian. I'm medically separated. And uh, I'm at a party in Long Island. My friend's kids party, bouncy house and everything. I got a phone call from Restricted. I'm like, who's this? Yeah, this is Agent So and So. We're, we're still looking for that rifle. That is <laughs> so I fired three shot burst. Had all the people in Bouncy House. I'm like, give me a second. Give me a fucking second. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I told you I left there with a tube in my mouth, a tube in my dick. It sounds like a bad night in Jersey, but literally. <laughs> fucking, I don't know. So I know the feds are still watching me. That's so why I wear Care Bear t-shirts, because whatever, <laughs> fucking spice it up. But no no joke, literally, apparently they get really mad. If you lose a, you know, it's not technically a machine gun, it's a light fire. The point is, though, yeah, it, it is what it is. Anybody have a fucking Russian barber I have? As an Italian guy, my father worked for the uh, Campinos in the cement business. I'm still almost afraid of the Russians. I can't stress that enough. You need to respect the Russians. This fucking Russian guy, literally, I make you look like porn star. <laughs> I'm going to my fucking nonna's house. I don't want to look like a porn star. I make you look like porn star. I'm hanging out like, damn. Can I just be like an attractive guy? I don't know. Fuck. And literally, I said, it was literally Halloween. I said, did you uh, go uh, Halloween with your kids? Did you wear a costume? You know, get candy? You can think I buy my own candy? <laughs> you know, I'm just raising my face. And, you think I need bank house? I beg people for candy bar? I don't hang out with Russians anymore. Don't make jokes about fucking candy. They don't understand Halloween. I think I gotta go. There's like 10 people left. I wanna thank everyone here for coming on down. Great job. I'm, uh, I should've took some of these. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone, have a good one, all right?